It's a great joy that we greet the church and also the ones who are following us online with the peace of the Lord Jesus. I'd like to invite the ones who can to stand up. We're going to open the Word of God, the Gospel of John, chapter 15. John 15. I'm going to read from verse 15. I'm going to read verse 15. And just a part of verse 16. Gospel of John, chapter 15, verse 15, and a little bit of 16. This is the word of God. Já vos não chamarei servos, porque o servo não sabe o que faz o seu Senhor. Mas tenho vos, tenho vos chamado amigos, porque tudo quanto ouvi do meu Pai, vos tenho feito conhecer. E o verso 16, a primeira parte, diz assim, Não me escolhestes vós a mim, mas eu vos escolhi a vós, e vos nomeei, louvado seja Deus. Já vão vos escolher, não vos escolhestes a mim, mas eu vos escolhi a vós e vos nomeei. Senhor, tua palavra está lida e já te damos. Lord, your word is life. We already thank you. Praise you for the presence of your spirit. We give glory for your salvation. We give glory because we are here in your presence. And now we ask, Father, that your word may come towards our hearts, the hearts of each one here ones who are in need. You know which one who entered here tonight. And we believe in your power. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The church may be seated. The Lord was showing that still in the meeting, the women's meeting, uh, a meeting that precedes the service, the women come at six of the afternoon where they place their needs before the, where also they they pray for our needs. And the vision said the following. That there was a great room that was being prepared for a banquet. And each prayer that the sisters made here tonight in the, her, their meetings was like uh, an adornment to this uh, room. And it said that at the end of the, the meeting, the place was already prepared and as we when we came later when we got to the door our seats were already prepared for the banquet in around this table but however there's a man who is here tonight he did not sit down at the table because he felt like he was not worthy and he was telling himself the one who made my invitation to me said that the church is very simple but what was said to this man was that this this place is simple, but it has royalty. But my brethren, we come here tonight, but there was already someone that was waiting for us, the King of Kings, because only sits at the banquet, the ones who has the right to the inheritance. That's what I said when we read the word. I no longer call you servants. There's a text in John, chapter 1, that says the following. He came to the ones who were his, but the ones who were his did not receive him. Whoever received him, he made them into children. So you who entered here tonight, you are a child of God. The message of Jesus is simple. Throughout the entire history of Jesus in humanity, as a man here, his message has always been simple. The Lord always spoke through parables. Something was part of the livelihood of that time so that people would understand. And the message is, I usually say that the, its basis is John 3, 16. Because law, law, God loved the world in such a way, the brethren know this verse very well. And the message of Jesus is 
how simple it is. It shows, it tries to show man that the love of God it overcomes everything, even our sins. And death, that is part of our lives. He overcame it in the cross of Calvary. And that's our message. And tonight, my brethren, we are here to proclaim that death did not defeat our Jesus. The cross is empty. And as the church used to say in the beginning, when Jesus was taken to heaven, it said, Jesus is alive. We are here to proclaim this message. Jesus is alive. And Jesus will return. And we are here to tell you, you who entered here, the Lord was showing in other spiritual gifts that there are people that uh, there are entering here with wounded hearts, with wounded feet. So in other words, the sadness and the discouragement of this world the feet that can no longer walk but uh, we we are telling you who entered here tonight that we we have not chosen but the one who chose us was the Lord and if you are here tonight it's because this world is has no worth to you anymore the offerings of this life have no worth but you are here because the Lord brought you here my brethren I was sitting at, next to the children. Firstly, is to understand this, how simple the prayer of a child is. Sometimes it, you may think, feel like it is too repetitive. The child prays for the same time, for, for the same thing a couple of times, but the child has faith that God is going to operate a miracle. And he said, God bless my grandma, my grandpa, my family, and he, goes on and on and I was there sitting down and listening to the praises and how the Lord visit us through the praises and it brings great joy to me and if there is any doubt there's no want, no doubt in my part if there was any doubt that Jesus was present it falls to the ground because Jesus is in this place the Lord inhabits in praises the way the Lord speaks to our heart, there's nothing in this world that can compare. And you who entered here tonight, you came here because the Lord has chosen you. And you are part of the project. Oh, but my life, it's been so hard. Sometimes you may be think, asking yourself or questioning yourself. Or maybe you may be saying, oh, everything in my life is going wrong. Look. Jesus chose you to be victorious in this life and also to inherit our eternal life. The word says, you, I have appointed you. If you are here tonight, it's because the Lord is giving you the opportunity. You have not reached it yet to have a new identity. It's not to change your name from John to someone else or your name is going to continue to be John, Mario, or any other name. But now you will have a uh, eternal passport and you know that your your life is not end here on this earth but it's just a beginning and to know that if today as we sat here in the praises Maranatha Maranat is the cry the cry of who? the cry of the church because when we sing our hope we sing what we live so if you say Maranatha come Lord Jesus it's because your heart is hoping for this moment and if Jesus calls us tonight know that with this identity you get into heaven and what moves us to go helps us to go through all the difficulties in this world is to know that if that if one day it happens and what we were while we're still alive if we pass on from this life it's knowing that when the Lord calls us by our name, we will enter into eternity. You have been appointed, my brother and sister. You, my brother and sister, you have been appointed. You now have a new identity. Maybe you may not have chosen to be here. You may be even questioning, what am I doing here? Everything is so new. Everything is so different that I, what I experienced my entire life. 
what causes me to come back to this place? It is because the presence of the Holy Spirit speaks to your heart. Not only an invitation. The gift says, the spiritual gift says the following. This is a simple place from the outside. It looks like a warehouse. A physical place, there's nothing to offer in this physical place. But I always go back to Peter and John. We have no gold or silver, but what we have, that we are going to give you. Which is what? A life in Jesus. An experience of a rescue that Jesus, uh, ransom that Jesus paid for our lives on the cross. And what the brethren and I have to offer to you is that the death of Jesus was not in vain and it did not stop on the cross, but he is now alive. He reigns, he is victorious, and he wants you to become victorious as well. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The word of God tonight is that we have not chosen the Lord, but he has chosen us. And blessed be the name of the Lord for this. Because we many times we choose things and then we repent. But God always makes the right choice. And he has chosen you. Because even though the world may not give you any worth. And the world is not going to give you any worth. The verse says that if we were from the world, the world would love what is theirs. But because you are not of the world, yet I have chosen you from the world. That's, what the, that's why the world abhors you. The world abhors us. You, you have no worth to the world. To the world, you're just a statistic. I am just a number to the world. But to the, to the Lord, I have worth. To the Lord, I have an identity. To the Lord, I have a name. When the Lord calls me, He does not call me just another one. He calls me with His voice that can be an yeah, incomparable voice. And now we're going to sing a song and you're going to glorify the Lord because you have been reached by this love and if you still have not, you're not sure, you're going to glorify the Lord in the same way because you came to the right place and the Lord is present. We're going to praise the name of the Lord right now. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Blessed be the Lord. Oh, to Jesus. The Lord was showing in the spiritual gift that there was a woman. She entered here in the service tonight. And on the first, after this first song, the Lord operated in her heart. She had a bitterness in her heart. And it was caused anguish and even physical pain in her. But that is part of the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus delivers, purifies, transforms, forgives. This is the benefit of being in the presence of the Lord. And the gift said that this bitterness was removed. The Lord also show, has shown in his, another spiritual gift that there was a woman that she had a little difficulty in understanding the Word of God. She read, but it feel, felt like the, the sheets of the Bible were like blank. She could not understand. And she prayed to the Lord asking for the presence of this Holy Spirit in her life. And whenever she prayed, she would understand the Word of God. My brethren, it is interesting that the text that she would open is Act, Acts chapter 2. I'm going to just read a verse to you. These men, they are not drunk, like you think, being the third hour of the day. What you came here to witness tonight is not a movement, it's not just a momentary joy, but it is the presence of God. Is the life that was transformed that has a joy that is not based on this world, that is not based in the circumstances of the life. Because we base our, our lives according to the success that is in the world. We're going to have joy today and tomorrow. Everything is going to fall to the ground. Comes the sadness, the anguish, the, the discouragement, and desperation. But our joy is based on the Lord. Things are well going well, the Lord is beside us. Things are going badly, the Lord is also beside us. And that's our joy. The Lord also has shown another spiritual gift, a youth, a young lady that entered here tonight, and she has a wounded heart. Her heart is beating very weakly, not literally, but the vision, they saw that, that her heart was weak. And she even thought about standing up, going away. But at this moment, the Lord was telling her, stay a little longer. And during the message, her heart was touched. And it began to beat her uh, stronger. And now it was full of life. My brethren, the Word of God is a life. Because He has chosen us. And if you came here with a discouraged heart, a sad heart, but the Lord is the one who can bring joy to our life. And what I want to tell you is that you came to the right place. Now as remember the text, the Good Samaritan, because he does not take that Jewish man that was all wounded. He does not take him to the hospital. Why is that? Because the hospital, you heal, you become well. And then you go away, but in a hotel, you can stay as long as you want. In a house of God, you can stay for as long as you want. God's not going to throw you away. You came here, you want to stay for as long as you want. For you, you're going to stay. Because God's going to receive you always. Bless be the name of the Lord. The Lord was also showing a woman that has difficulty in her walk. And that has affected her family members, her husband, her children. She has not heard the voice of the Lord anymore. And if you, today you hear the voice of God, do not harden your heart. The Holy Spirit is speaking, has an ear, will hear. But the, because the Holy Spirit is alive and it, it speaks to the church, it wants to restore this home, this walk. If your walk has not been constant, if the way you think, if you see things it's being contaminated has even affected your life, the Lord wants to deliver you. He did not call you to 
remain standing still. He, he called to walk, walk towards the eternity. God's objective is that we all come to the eternity. Doesn't matter. Our objective is to come to eternity. But in order to get there, we need to walk. The Lord wants to give this blessing to this family tonight. The Lord also showing through a revelation that there was a man I always had criticism to Christian church. But tonight he realizes that there was a clear difference in the operation of the Holy Spirit in our midst. And he's, he has desired in the name of Jesus to know better the real reason the Lord will reveal to him, is already revealing to him as the one that governs in our midst and that wants to save him so that he may be a part of this church. My bread, you have been chosen by the Lord. Leave everything behind. Because like in the first spiritual gift that I read, uh, life is like this, but the one who is present is the King of Kings. Amen. I invite the church to stand up. We're going to have a word of glorification to the Lord. I want to praise you for your restoring power. Praise you, Lord. Because once again, we can sit at the table. Receive our gratitude in the name of Jesus. Lord, we praise your name. We thank you, Lord, because you are present in our midst. And it's your Holy Spirit that brings comfort, that calls us, that transforms us. That bring us to a new walk, a new stand in your presence. We glorify you for this. Because for us, it's a privilege, Lord. Blessed be your name. And now we ask, Lord, accept in your throne of grace, your this service. Be with us throughout the remainder of this night. That we may never leave your presence. Bless our homes and prepare us for that great day. We pray, I really thank you in the name of Jesus. Amen. The church may be seated. If you came tonight and you desire an assistance, prayer, if you identify yourself with a few of the, any of your gifts, we are here ready to pray for you. I'd like to remind everyone the service tomorrow morning in Sunday school and late, later at 7.30 another service of glorification to the Lord. And I wish everyone the peace of the Lord.